All right, uh, Saturday. Today was really good shopping. I spent $148 on everything you see on this table. Got a lot of really good jewelry. Marie's going to go through that. Even some gold she's weighing up now. Um, also got some random clothes and household stuff to sell. And I got this big stack of records, all together 25, because I bought them in two places. But I bought six. One, two, three, four, five, six for five dollars. And then I bought all of these for twenty dollars. Actually, six. And then I bought all of these for twenty dollars. That's a better stack. It's all rack, uh, rack, rock. I'm gonna go through that. Um, when it comes to games today, man, I got almost nothing. But you know what? It's fine. I actually had a, a chance to scoop up a big lot of really good Nintendo 64 games. Uh, and what happened was the person contacted me, and I bid a little low, figuring that they weren't pricing it around. My mistake, they were pricing it around. So, of course, I was the starting bid, and w if you're the starting bid, it's easy to be outbid. Foolishly, they did not get back to me and say, hey, somebody offered me this. Can you do better? In which case, I probably would have. Eh, they lost. Anyway, um, games. This is all I got, boys. I got a Donkey Kong of drums. No game. I got a Nintendo 64 controller. Stick feels a little tight, kind of, kind of nice. It should work. I don't think I'll have any problems with it. Uh, did not notice this, <laughs> so I'm probably going to give this to Daryl for parts. Uh, I paid eight dollars. I paid five for this, which is a bargain. Then I paid eight for these two, the Spider-Man Man. Yeah, Emery's laughing at me because I don't look at stuff. I just, if they give me a really good price, I just buy it. Grabs and runs. Well, they wanted ten, and I, you know. That's why you should look at it. Well, Marie's, Marie's giving me lessons now in the middle of my video. All right, Marie, from now on, I'll look at everything closely. I'm just I'm saying done. that because I'm not going to do it. I'm well, just going to buy willy-nilly. Man, I just absorbed the losses. I got so many wins. Eight bucks on a Spider-Man game that's probably worth four. I would have spent at least eight on this. You're lying now. <laughs> uh, You're lying. You know what it is, Marie? I bought so much good stuff, I can absorb the losses. Oh. I got so many wins. It's like... Uh, I am the champion of buying stuff. And actually, I, I found gold from Reed today. I bought all the good stuff. Anyway, Spider-Man. <laughs> Reed bought a little bit of stuff because I, I helped her find it. Anyway, oh Spider-Man. What a douchebag. <laughs> Marie says I'm a douchebag. Uh, and then, okay, I'm going to go over to, uh, I'm going to finish. Here's the last game, right? And Game Party for 19 hit games for a dollar, right? Ugh, maybe I shouldn't have bought it. I actually passed up on some Wii stuff today because I got so much Wii, nobody's buying it. But as you can see, Wii Sports was there, plus the Wii Party game. Wii Sports is about a $10 game. And if you lot it with something else, you can bump the price to 15 and it, then it's worth putting it on eBay because at the flea market, they won't give you more than a few dollars for it. Which, maybe I'd sell it for $4 if they go for it. I, I don't know. Slow All down. Right. You're talking yeah, so it doesn't bad. matter. I'm, I'm not even saying anything important. I'm just rambling. Okay, let's do the jewelry so then you can go inside. And I'll start at that end. Start, okay, Marie says start at the sun. What are you going to talk from all the way over there? What, uh, all what are you going to project? Over three feet away? Like, come on. Uh, yeah, they can't hear. The microphone sucks on this. Whatever. Okay. What's this? A bracelet, duh. Anything special about it? No. All right, that's a bracelet. Marie, what would you pay for it? Uh, all this stuff from here over, I paid a buck a piece. So okay, buck a piece. So a dollar, you like the way it looked. Yeah, Whatever. it's good for the holidays. And flea market. What about this? I see uh, it's pearl. It's just pretty, and it's Leah Sophia. Leah Sophia. And that is real freshwater pearl? I don't know. Okay. It looks it looks like real uh, Could be. hematite. And this was a dollar, stuff. and you're probably going to sell it for, like I don't know. five bucks. Oh, well, that's not bad. Uh, pink rose quartz and uh, amethyst? Yeah. I and it's just, it's just a necklace, crystal. right? Just a oh, crystal, and okay. pink rose quartz. Just a necklace. Yeah. You're going to sell it for 10 bucks? Yeah. Okay. Um, what's That's this? That's all freshwater pearl, but I don't know if they're dyed or not, but I just like the colors for the fall. That's nice. You paid a buck. What are you going to sell it for? 10, 15, 12? Uh, 8 to 10, maybe. 8 to 10. It is a flea market, remember? It is. All right. Um, this is just, what, glass? Uh, sea it's, glass? It's like little... Uh, it has sterling silver uh, beads and Dustin? glass. Dustin? Dustin Design. And it's got uh, little teardrop shaped glass beads. Is that anybody? Really cool. I don't know. I have to look it up. It says Dustin Design. All right. I know so what it says. You look it up. What about this? That's freshwater pearl and a sterling clasp. They're nice. like floaty pearl. They call so, them like they 10 to 20 bucks, line. right? Yeah. All right. Uh, what's that uh, hand mean? I don't. It's just. It's, it's somebody's. Okay. It's, it's, it's just all little natural stones. It's, it's nice. got sterling. Uh, 10 clasp. or less, right? What about this? That I just liked it. it and there a is a tag on it. 
Yeah, I forget what it said, but uh, it it's says something. Uh, got enamel and a little glass. Piece. It's got a crown and it's got some letters in script that I can't really make out right that's now. That's a five dollar so. brace. Yeah, five so. bucks. All right, um, this is a set. That was a set. I got the whole set for a buck. Natural stone or glass? Um, it looks like glass to me. I mean, it could be stone, but I think it's just. Uh, glass. That's nice either way. With okay. sterling silver class. This is stuff that's just going out tomorrow, right? Because I'll sort yes. it. Okay. Um, That's sterling, sterling silver, silver with natural stone. Natural stone, same thing, both of them? Uh, no, these are glass. They're like tiger's wow. eye type glass. Okay, is this flea Unless market? It yeah, that's flea market. Okay, so I'll put it in this stack it's sterling over. sterling silver. That's uh, sterling silver, that necklace with cubic zirconia. Nice. Uh, flea market? Yeah. Okay, flea market. And then those What's the deal two, with this? Wait, right. wait, wait, wait. These two are sterling silver. They were a buck a piece. Nice. And, and are then, they flea market? Yeah, that's flea market. And this, what, it's like 25 maybe? <laughs> at most, right? You're talking flea market. I'll yeah, be lucky 25 if they give at me most, 15. 15 desperation. What about this? You know, the boat. I, you know what? Weigh this. Because if this is oh, an ounce, Jesus. I already got 15 right this, right there. And then this, same deal. This one's much lighter. That one's heavy. That she's going to weigh now. Look, here's my scale. You're in my light. <sighs> Marie needs light all of a sudden. Uh, it's not acting right. Here, just zero. Yeah, it's zero. It's zeroed out. Point one. No, now it says point one. It don't touch it. There, it's zeroed out. Okay. Sixteen point so two. So it's like eight to ten dollars. It's like eight dollars in silver. It's scrap. So at least. So that's why I'm saying. At least fifteen. 15 bucks. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I got this with that bunch too. And, and these this are is fourteen carats. How many grams? You weighed them. Um. I thought you weighed them already. I did, but I don't remember. 1.9. 1.9 grams. 1.9 grams. Okay. So that's at least 60-something dollars in, in, uh, in gold. Okay. Uh, did you weigh these? Uh, yeah, but That's I gold, too. Okay. I bought those for a dollar. Were, last, uh, last thing. Stop shaking the table. 1.4. 1.4. So that's about, I don't know, 40 to $45 at least. And just plain old scrap. And this was gold. This Marie showing the best stuff. She decided not to save the best for last. Uh, and you, you know weighed what? this. <laughs> Stop you know. This is heavy. I normally save the best for last. Yeah, you build Whatever. up the momentum. You shh, back up. I gotta so they eight point seven. It wasn't it more before when you tried. I tell you, your scale is messing up. Zero it out again. Just hit zero. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, nine point one. That's what it was before. So, in, in, in gold weight alone, that's like 270 yeah, but you're, bucks. You're, you know, the stone in the center, the onyx stone, we something. If I scrap it, I'll break it out. But I think we got at least like 250 a uh, piece right here if we were to sell it. You know what I mean? Uh, if Nobody's going to come across a 250 at the flea market. We'll try. And if they don't buy it, we'll scrap it. Okay, so there. So gold, gold, gold. Look at all that gold. Did we get any more gold? Well, this you got. It's black uh, pearls with gold... Um, Clasp. Clasp and the gold beads. Yeah, I'd have to tear those apart. But I think each one, of the, I think every three gold beads is like a dollar or something like that. And the clasp should be another like, I don't know, ten dollars or whatever. So two seventy, uh, sixty at least, sixty yeah. something. So that's three thirty. What was this? Uh, Forty five. Yeah. Three seventy five. Maybe about four hundred dollars in gold today. Ah, nice. Your so, math is like weird. What? Whatever. A three seventy five. Let's plus... go. Let's go. I don't want to do this all day. You I said like maybe. Talking. I don't. All right. Well, let let me start here. Uh, Playboy bunny pendant. I don't know. You uh, know, maybe eBay. It's it's just a fun item. That's no. flea market though, right? Yeah. <sighs> flea market. Yeah. Or gift. But either or. If Daisy likes it, she can keep it. But it's kind nothing of special to it. Okay. What about uh, these cufflinks? Those are old you have to test those too, right? Cufflinks. I have to find out if they're silver or gold. Okay, so I'm gonna put them here. Nothing. They might just be like. Well, they didn't go to the magnet, no, so. They didn't. This is a uh, 10k gold filled. Yeah, but it has a messed up stone. But the lady gave it to me for free when oh, I bought Oh, all right. Some well, it can't be that flea market. I had bought these, and she gave me that for free. And okay. these are silver. Okay, so those are silver. Uh, flea market. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this a set? No. Oh, well, I guess it could be. No, it kind of looks the same. And um, flea market, right? Well, yeah. Okay. I mean, who's gonna want it with the black? Is this for Daisy, or for uh, you? She's not gonna. She might. Is not. it for I you? I have enough of that stuff. Okay, so flea market. Yeah. Uh, that's a gold clasp too, right? No. That's not. It's a uh, gold filled. Gold filled. It's got coral, like little flowers, like tulips, and these mother of pearl pineapples, which I thought was like really. Can cool. and eat, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's flea market. For now, I might put it on eBay. Okay. I have to see. 
This is uh, sterling, and this is uh, it just marks sterling, it's and it's sterling, and it's ball so bead it's necklace, old, right? Older. Definitely older. Yeah. We don't know if it's Mexican or Italian. It's usually one or the other. Uh, flea market. Yeah. Take it now. out, right? And yeah. if it doesn't sell, I have a lot of that online. Okay. It's not selling. You paid ten for this. Yeah. And but you like um, it. It's um. I forget what it said. It's made in Colombia, and it's uh, artifactos. Yeah. And it artifacts. says 24k, but I think it's like 24k. It's not gold. Like, yeah. Overlay. Yeah, it went it's to the gold. magnet, so yeah. it's that's flea market, right? Yeah. Nice Monet pin, flea market or eBay. Flea market. Flea market for now. Either it'll sell or it won't. Yeah. Um, this had this had a 14k clasp, right? Yeah, but it's just the clasp. No, but it's the teeny weeny. Is like. They're like weird. I don't know if that's but glass. Did it also or have a name, or did it just say 14K? It said 14K. Okay, not a designer. Yeah. Okay, well this is nice. I just bunch up. What do you want to do with this flea market, or? Uh, we could try it at the. Flea 20 market. bucks, right? Yeah. If you can get 20. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you can right. get 20, then screw them, you know. Okay, so we'll no, try it at the flea you. market. You just like the way this looked. This was cheap, and it's for the flea market. I could tell it. And cheap. there's a necklace. Yeah. yeah. It's a long thing. Okay, uh, this is a coach belt. Yeah, it's a coach. Um, and you have a bag that goes with a, it, right? Yeah, it's a triple uh, strands beaded belt. That's definitely a belt, right? Yeah. They're online for like 50 bucks, right? Yeah, somebody has one online for $50 and they added shipping and I don't remember. Online or flea market? Was. eBay. Okay, so that'll go here. Because this is flea market for tomorrow. I'll get you a big well, sandwich. No, room. I'm taking that to the Oh, flea you're taking market. it all? Okay. Yeah, because. This I needed to display my. Um, police, your. your uh, prison guard badge guard that badge. stupid eBay kicked off, right? This is most likely for someone we know. We paid five dollars fossil watch, and we're probably going to give it to him for like ten bucks. Yeah. He says he'd pay ten bucks for anyone that he likes. If he doesn't want it, we'll sell it on our own. All right, that's done with the jewelry. Um, you can put all your stuff in a bag and then give it to me. I am going to go on and finish doing the rest of the stuff. You are done. You out of here. All right, buck a piece. You know, I'm probably going to sell these for like. Two dollars, but whatever. You know, Winnie the Pooh. I'll look up this one. I'm sure it's not worth that much. I know this one shouldn't be worth more than like two, five, whatever. But I just buy that stuff and I sell it cheaper than the Oh, this is yours too. Marie breaks these all the time. Um, not on purpose. Not because you're clumsy or whatever. But whenever she can get them for like three dollars or or a little more or a little less. Because they're like twenty to thirty bucks. Twenty to thirty bucks in a store. Well, if so. I find them at a Yard sale. And you, you buy them on a yard off. sale fairly often, and since you use it, you know, it's a good deal for you. Um, let's see. This is just a nice made in Japan vase. It's probably not even worth that much. It's got but, persimmons on it. Yeah, it's got persimmons, Marie says, which are a, some kind of fruit. You know, you, you can have like a persimmon pie, a persimmon flavored yogurt, what? persimmon flavored, uh, what are those card candies that everybody used to eat? I would not want to know what you're Did the strawberry, about. the watermelon ones, the hard candy? Jolly Ranchers? Persimmon Jolly Ranchers. I'm trying to think, what do you do with fruit? Persimmon's a fruit, right? You eat it. What does it taste like, though? It tastes like persimmon. It tastes like bananas. All meat tastes like chicken, and all fruit tastes like bananas. All right. <sighs> Here's a Siemens Bank savings. This is an old McCoy one. Some people mark these as much as 40 whatever, dollars, 30 it's, It should be worth very easily 20 bucks. I paid $2 for it. Same sale. I paid twenty dollars for these, like really nice enamel cloisonné made in Japan vases. Really nice. Um, I only paid twenty. This one looks like the other one. They're the same. <clears throat> they are the same. Just really nice and older Japan vases. Probably at least a hundred years old now, right? Does it say made in Japan or just Japan? No, it says made in Japan. So they might be like less than 100 years old still nice and i only paid 20 bucks i believe I, they should be worth over 100 maybe maybe a couple of hundred what do i get from i don't know screw that crap i think i'm just going to stick them on ebay i i've carried stuff like that around nobody wants to pay me anything for it so you know what they're not getting it anymore unless somebody sees this and wants to offer me a lot of money um two dollars for these this is a set uh Pooh family set christmas ornaments don't really know the value but for two dollars who cares it's like easy money Got some some um, some blah 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 some CDs uh, sealed. Sam Cook, Johnny Cash. I'll put that on my uh, telephone. I got some music going there. Romantic romantic moods. I bought it because it was sealed. And a Patsy Cline. I don't even know why I bought that. That stuff is hard to sell. 
Um, hey, this can go in the house too. Some Venus razors. I bought these tires, ties because they were 25 cents each. And I gave her a dollar even though I only got three. So there you go. I got a Beep Beep Roadrunner one. I got a Mickey Mouse sports one. And then I got a Mickey Mouse face one. Um, I don't know what they're worth. If they're not worth that much, I'll just take them to the flea market and sell them for three to five bucks a piece. I got some perfumes. The best, one of the best things I got today, besides all the, the fantastic jewelry, we we made we got four hundred dollars just in the jewelry alone. You know, I could have bought those games for like um, two hundred, and then over time I would have eventually made like four hundred or whatever dollars. It's like forget it. You know, look, I'm gonna make so much more money on this stuff. Um, I paid ten dollars for these two. It's a set. This is a Shiseido Energizing Fragrance. And this is a uh, energizing fragrance, but this is a spray and this one's a lotion. I don't know if I'm going to sell them as a set. I'm gonna know if I'm, I don't know if I'm going to sell them separately. Depends on what they're worth. Um, this does not say white power. This says white flower pour femme. Uh, see if I'd gone like this. It doesn't look very good. But this is um, white flower for femme. And this is eau de toilet spray. I paid a dollar for it, so how can I go wrong? I mean, there's something wrong with the bottle cap. Like, part of it might have broke off. Oh, no, maybe it didn't. Yeah, it did. This broke off of it. I don't know why even, I'm even showing you that. Here, here's what the bottle looks like. I don't know what it's worth, but I will find out. It's definitely worth more than a dollar. Hopefully, it's worth at least 20 um, because then I'll make a little bit of money on if I ship it. Then I bought this. This is Vivid Liz Claiborne. Liz Claiborne's usually pretty good. It's not very full, and also i got to see if I can fix this. There's something wrong with the, 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 the spray thing. Okay, this might be a, a beat dollar. Oh, I see. It's got a dent. All right, I'll try and fix that. Whatever. I don't care. Dollar. And then this was a dollar. Usually, uh, Jean Pateau is pretty good in terms of perfume. Don't know what this is going to be worth. Let's see if the top is good on this one. Yeah, it looks okay. It should spray. Uh, it's a 1.7 fluid ounce. It's about 80% full. I think that'll be worth 20 or more. I don't really know. Um, this is the jewelry Marie got. This is that. I already showed that. All right, I'm winding down. I'll finish up with the records. What do I got? 17 minutes in. Okay. Got these. Got this painting. It's signed by someone. It looks like Jewett. Uh, it's either J A W I T T uh, or J E W. ITT, uh, if you can see the signature there. This is actually really nicely done. Smaller painting. <sighs> Partial label on the back. No real information. I paid a couple of bucks for it, so who cares? I think I paid $2. You know, it's a nice winter scene, whatever. Um, bought these boots. Uh, I bought these. Look how nice and clean they are. Person never wore them. I don't know if, there's, uh, if they're a designer or whatever name. It doesn't really matter. White Mountain. Never heard of them. But they are a gift, a birthday gift to somebody. She'll get them later. Bought a couple of shirts for myself. Here's a legacy. This is weird. This is like a fitted shirt. So it says 2X. I'm not a 2X, but it fit me. So I guess it's 2X if you're like, maybe it's from the children's department. <laughs> I don't know. Because I am not a 2X. I, you know, at best, sometimes I'm a 1X. But, you know, I, and well, it's all belly with me. So, you know, what do we got here? Um... Northwest Territory. It's just a shirt. Uh, this one, see, look, this one fit me fine, and this is a large, okay? I tried this on, it fit me. So why is a 2X fit me? Like, right? I don't know. It's just the way they make stupid clothes nowadays. But this hat, you know what? I'll wear this hat if it's not worth that much. It's old-time sports. If it's worth, like, 10 bucks, I'll just wear it. I, you know, I like, I wear different hats. Um, got a little bit of wrestling, wrestling shirts. This one is the one that's in better condition. I paid a buck a piece for this. This is definitely WWE. And I got John Cena there. And what's it got on the back? Hustle, loyalty, respect. You know what? Don't know what it's going to be worth, but I paid a dollar. It's in pretty good worn condition. And when I say worn, I don't mean it's worn out. I mean it's worn. Somebody wore it. This one's a little bit rougher. I didn't notice this when I was looking at it. But they just ripped the tag out, so... Uh, and this one, I didn't, you know, I don't even look at stuff sometimes. So this one is a UFC, Jesse versus Sonnen. You know, I don't know if this stuff is worth more or less. I know people love wrestling. Um, there, it's it's World Light Heavyweight Championship, Saturday, April 27, 20, 2013. 
I don't know if people are collecting this stuff. I know they're collecting the wrestling. I bought most of these clothes there to wear, and the shoes were bought somewhere else. But I, the shirt should pay for pretty much everything I bought because it was like... The shirts were three, so it's a six. And then the perfumes were like seven. So that perfume should already pay for everything. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, with four. So that's seven. So, so six and four is ten. And I don't know if I bought the hat there. Oh, yeah, and, it, and then this other shirt was another dollar. I think I paid like $12. The perfume should pay for everything, so that was a good deal. I'm telling you, I did so good today. It's like, it's harder. When people contact me all the time to sell me stuff, and they always want like a lot of money, and sometimes, I, you know, I'm like, oh, well, I can sell that really easy. But then sometimes, like, who cares? Uh, check this out. I paid f five for the six albums you're going to see next. But this one's signed by Al Martino. Do I think it's worth a lot of money? Nah, not really. It's only worth, like, maybe, I saw somebody, some, some I'm going to say idiot, has it on eBay for, like, ten bucks. I mean, come on. And then I bought this King of Swing because it was nice and clean, you know. But um, uh, to be honest, I don't really go through and check all of these. I have to do that later. Uh, Village People, uh, Macho Man. These are fun. I just bought it because I was buying that. Saturday Night Fever. That one I could, I think I could sell. Some of these, I sell my records in two price ranges right now. Um, if they're worth like, say, 40 or something like that, I give them to my friend and he puts them on eBay. And this way he can get like 20 bucks out of them at least. If they're only worth like 10 I t to, to say 12, I take them to the flea market, I sell them for like $4, three for 10, so like three a piece, right? So if you're reselling them, you have room to make money off of me, right? Um, the ones that are worth, say, 25, say at least 20 and up to about, say, 35 or something like that, I take to the flea market and I say uh, $10, three for 25. So if you buy three, you're really only paying like eight bucks, and then you have room to sell it for 15 or 20. I, I like to give people room. I don't want to be a record person per se, but records are selling, so I'm buying records. Sergio Franchi, you know, I have a friend that likes Italian music. Uh, Neil Sadaka, these are really clean. Okay, now at another sale, they had a bunch of really stupid, crappy opera. Uh, and when I say stupid, crappy, I don't mean that, that they're stupid. And I don't mean that they're crappy. It just means it's like, it's stuff that I can't sell. You know, I would buy it and then that would be it. I would own it forever. So they had a bunch of records that would be hard to sell. I call them stupid, crappy records, right? Um, and they were all open and display right but then they had some boxes that were behind and underneath and stuff like that so i flipped through the box i flipped through the records that i could see and then i saw the boxes. So i went through the records and then there was there was all this rock and other music in there and i'll just start going through it. the doors beach boys uh best of jethro toll beach boys again beach boys again so i'm i'm seeing all these records and i'm like ooh. so i start buying them and i'm and then i'm like how much are records so i go oh, a book a piece so i go what if i get a bunch they said ah, just show me when you're done and i'll give you a good price right Cosby Sills and that, and that. Oh. Nash Young, Beach Boys again, Van Morrison, Moon Dance. I already know some of these records are like four dollar records. Steve Miller Band, that's like a four dollar record. Charlie Daniels Band, four dollar record. Let me see if I can do this a little more efficiently. Um, bear with me. Okay, uh, but then I know some of these records are more than four dollars. Like, let's see, is this one even in here? Yeah, it's in there. This might be one that I can sell for ten dollars. Here's the cars. This is probably like a $10 record. Heart, probably a $10 record. But, you know, people are, um, I mean, a lot of kids are listening to some of this music and they're learning about it, like Dan Fogelberg and Tim Weiss. Well, to be honest, what happened was I just made a big pile of records. I took most of a box and I said, how much for this stuff? And they're like, uh, 20 bucks. I'm like, okay, great, here you go. And I gave them the money I left. And these were owned by, uh, it looks like Nikki Guthrie. Uh, BJ, BG's Mr. Natural. These aren't in the greatest condition. They're not bad. Uh, waiting. Who is this? Live. Oh, Little Feet. Okay. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. I need cheap stuff. Best of Good Vibrations. That would be the Beach Boys. Queen. This, depending on the condition of the record, could be a $10 one. Uh, you know, for something like this, if this is like a $25 in horrible condition, Maybe I'll put in the 10. And then again, I might just make it $4, three for 10, just because the cover's a little beat. Um, Bobby Womack. Let's wait on again. <sighs> Bobby Womack. So for what I paid, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. And I got room to, after I sell a bunch, <sighs> Grateful Dead. And again, I paid, say, 25 for everything. I think I have at least 100 to $150 worth of records easily here. Al Stewart, Year of the Cat. I don't think there's anything unusual. I don't think there's any real surprises. But at 
three for ten and up. Uh, Mama's and the Papas. Tommy, this could be a ten dollar one, you know, depending on the condition. It looks like it looks like this one's in better condition. And, and when I say a ten dollar one, I, I mean it's probably like a twenty dollar or something record that I will just sell for ten or eight dollars. Cat Stevens, t -t 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 Super Tramp. I've had that one. Uh, Poco can't be that good. Best of Earth, Wind, and Fire can't be that good. Uh, in Harmony, what is this? This was just in the box. Nice artwork, though. It's by someone named uh, C. H. Wast or Trost. I don't know. It's fun. Uh, Patsy Cline, probably not a very valuable record. Uh, Quincy Jones, the best. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. You know, he recently opened. It's empty, but this could be it. Yeah, this is probably it. Am I getting a phone call? I'm not answering it now. Sesame Street, original cast record. Let's see who's calling me. Oh, it's AJ. I'll get back. Sorry, AJ, I'm busy. I'll get back to you. Poco, a good feeling to know. Uh, Al Jarreau, high crime. What's this? Uh, Carol King ta Tapestry. I know that's a $4 one. Look, he's calling me again. Give up, AJ. I'll call you back when I'm done. The Four Seasons song, Mean Business. Who is this? Might be empty. Uh, Simon and Garfunkel, Greatest Hits. Uh, Kenny Loggins, Night Watch. Asia, Steely Dan. Kent Loggins, and Messina. Uh, Winger. Wings Over America. So this is a Paul McCartney. It's like a double. And Honky Chateau, Elton John. Okay, that's everything I got today. This is already a 26-minute video. Got a lot of stuff. Going to make a lot of money. I only paid $148. Everything isn't that amazing. Um, of course, I'm not going to get the money right away. But... Let me do my shout-outs. Shout-outs to AJ SB Zonk, Video Game Daryl, AJ who just called me on my phone, uh, Nas Nostalgic, Blue Bus Dave, uh, my other YouTube channels can be reseller. If you want to see the live hunting, go there. Um, Chase After the Right Price, Thrift Hunter, um, Treasure Finder 28, Video Gamer Daryl, um, Living the Good Life, Bargain Barons, of course. I'll do my other YouTube channels can be resellers again. And that's it. So anyway, tomorrow, if you want to find me, I want to be at some, I don't know, some, some stupid uh, antique -y thing. I'm not really bringing antiques, so I'm bringing my normal stuff. I'm not even going to bring those, those, any of that stuff. I'm just bringing records and my normal stuff because, you know, I already got the car loaded and I just I can't go through it. Anyway, I'm out of here. Goodbye.